So ladies and gentlemen, the official wedding party, we're going to start off with, and please give them a round of applause as they all come in and cheer them on, Nick and Jordan! Oh, 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 oh. Then we got Hunter and Casey. Shane and Whitney! I am lost, I am vain, I will never be the same. What about Jeremy and Chelsea? How about Nathan and Billy? Special welcome for the best man and the matron of honor, Nick and Emily. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce you for the first time. Give a warm welcome and make some noise in the building for Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Erica Covey! Yes! Come on, you can do better than that. Make some noise. their way to the center of the dance floor. You may have your seats. And they're going to entertain you with their first dance together as husband and wife. Guitar. If you ain't got no strings 
And probably always will Like a cup of coffee yeah. Sunday, Sunday drives and time to kill What's the point of this on guitar If you ain't got no strings Or pouring your heart into a song That you ain't gonna sing It's a match made up in heaven Like good old boys and be Sun dance. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow. And each road leads you where you wanna go. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens to another door closed, I hope you keep on walking till you find the window. If it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile. All right, y'all give it up. Don't they look lovely? What's going on? <laughs> I have my toast right now, so I'm gonna pull that baby out. You didn't recognize my face, that's right. Okay. If you all didn't already know, I am Nicholas Cabral, not only the best man, 
but essentially also Alex's first wife. <laughs> being best friends with Alex has basically been like being in a never-ending relationship as I've literally spent so much time with him for these last 14 to 15 years. And all I can really say is good luck and thank you for taking him off my hands, Erica. <laughs> Knowing Alex for as long as I have, I've prepped a 30-minute speech for you all. However, Erica may bite my head off, so I won't do that to you all. <laughs> and, sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> but if any of you really want any embarrassing stories about Alex, make sure to catch me on the dance floor tonight. I'll be there all night. Talking about the dance floor, I know we are all ready to get Part, get to partying and celebrating this amazing couple we have before us today. Everything has been so beautiful and it's been such a joy to be surrounded by friends and family as we are becoming one, thanks to you both. I'd argue that I'm probably one of the more beautiful things to happen today, but sadly, I think we can all agree that Erica takes the cake on this one. <laughs> Proud of you, Gothard. <laughs> You look gorgeous in that dress, Erica. One amazing thing about growing up with Alex as a friend, brother, confidant, and much more since fourth grade is that I've gotten the chance to know Alex before Erica and after meeting Erica, and trust me, he's much better off with Erica in his life. <laughs> Part of an amazing relationship is the ability to help each other grow, and I've had the honor to see it in both Alex and Erica, but tremendously in Alex as I've known him my entire life almost. One of the most amazing feats I think Erica has ever accomplished is helping Alex broaden his musical taste. <laughs> if you told me senior year of high school that Alex Gothard would actually come to enjoy country music, I'd laugh and say, believe me, I have tried to get him to like anything other than rap. But when you meet your other half, they find ways to complete you in ways you've never expected at all, and Erica's done just that with Alex beyond just expanding his musical taste. Since meeting Erica, I've seen Alex grow into an amazing man, as she not only helps him discover new things, but helps him discover what was already in him even further. Although I haven't known Erica as long, I've seen her grow as well, and it's been amazing to see these two's journey so far. I'm honored to call her my sister and a friend, someone I can go to and someone I know will love and take care of my best friend. Sorry, Whew. was not expecting to cry. <laughs> Whew. Okay, Whew. sorry. Um, all righty, back to the, the words, because, <laughs> all right, I have a fun little story for the moments before Alex and Erica began dating, and I don't know if Alex has ever told you this story, Erica, but it's time to embarrass Alex just a little. <laughs> a few weeks into college, I get a call from Alex begging to call me. He's texting me, he's like, dude, I really gotta call you. I really, it's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. He calls me up, we begin talking, and he starts talking about this girl he met, who he might really, really like, just a little. Um, I could barely get a word out because I assume from the way he was talking, he was bouncing off the walls as well. We talked for such a long time because he was so nervous trying to figure out ways to impress Erica, and we cracked jokes back and forth about how he should go about impressing Erica, and we came up with some good ideas. <laughs> Don't know if any of you know the TV show How I Met Your Mother, but we even discussed a little play in Barney Stinson's playbook. More details later on that tonight if you find me. <laughs> Any, anyways, with all of the joking put aside, there was something different when he talked about Erica, and we decided that just being himself was the best approach. Luckily, somehow, that was enough for Erica. <laughs> and, that, that, and ever since then, it's been special, and he talks about her so much in such a way every single time I call him and ask them how, how they're doing. And when I met you, Erica, and really got to know you over these past few years, I knew exactly how, what made and still makes my best friend mush the way he does whenever he talks about you or is with you. I don't have to tell you how loyal or reliable and amazing Alex is, because I am sure you already have discovered that. But all I ask 
is that you keep bringing out his amazing qualities, even ones he never knew he had, and to keep pushing him to be a better man as you already do. Take care of him as he is the best friend anyone could ever ask for, I would know. <laughs> Always put each other first and always, always communicate as you guys already do. I look, look up to your guys' relationship and it's something to, to aim towards for sure. Um, <laughs> sleeping these last few days has been hard as I've been so freaking excited for today and I can't wait to see where this adventure of marriage takes you to this day on forward. So congrats and love you both. Let's all raise our glass to our newlyweds. Erica knows me and she knows I don't do public speaking. <laughs> um, Nick said he was like a wife. Me and Erica actually did get married in the third grade. Um, and I know you guys are going to Jackson Hole for your honeymoon, but we went to Catalina. So we had a little bit more fun. Um, we took a limo. Um, there's no one I'd rather see Erica leave me for, so. Mine's not as long because I didn't write anything. <laughs> but I'm very happy for you guys. And thank you for, <laughs> for making my best friend so happy. Uh, Bailey and I were co-maid of honors because, well, you can't replace a sister. So here I am. You get, you get us both. Okay. So uh, growing up, uh, Eric and I were kind of opposites, to say the least. Um, she liked baby dolls, and I liked boys and skateboards. Um, and it, uh, it really, really wasn't until she left for college that we became close. Or, no, I'm going to start crying already. Okay. So I have to read from this. Okay. Which um, <clears throat> simultaneously is when she met Alex and met her soon-to-be husband, of course. Um, it was during her second year of college when the two met, and he was a younger classman. I believe her exact words were, I'm a cougar, possibly. <laughs> and uh, fast forward a few months, and Eric informed the family that she was bringing a bo boy home for the holidays. We were all pretty surprised, anxious, and, well, excited, I guess, because Eric never brought a boy home before, so we knew it must be something pretty serious, you know? And, uh, well, to my dad's dismay, it was her... F <laughs> I won't even go there. Okay. But, <laughs> our, I guess our favorite expression of my sister is one and done. So if that doesn't give you an idea of how great this relationship is, and <laughs> I don't know what does. Okay. Um... But I don't think I'll ever forget the first time I took Alex and Erica out to lunch at Open Sesame. It was during lunch that Alex informed me that the two have DJ names for one another. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, they, too, were uh, always traveling because the two love to travel together. <laughs> and during the long car rides, of course, one person had to be in control of the radio, one person had to be in control of the phone, playing all the music. And I, I won't tell you what Alex's DJ name was. <laughs> or, how, or how he got his DJ name. But I remember looking at this kid like, there's no way, he's not dating my sister and this is not gonna last. But here we are today. And after that moment, uh, Erica kept bringing him around and making comments that this was it. They were in it for the long run. Um, and I was still like, there's no way this dude is, is the dude. But I will say, all serious, the solidifying moment for myself, um, it was the Route 91 concert, which I know a lot of you attended and a lot of you were there for. But, uh, you know, the fear and shock and phone calls of being at home and having your loved ones be there during the tragic moment. But I knew and I instantly felt better knowing that you two were together and that you were there taking care of her. And I know for me and my family, knowing that you two were there together made us feel all so much better. And I knew that you were going to be okay and that he was going to be there protecting you. And I knew that he was going to be the one. 
I think it was like a year later that he proposed, or maybe six months later, and I was like, you know what, yeah, he's the one. <laughs> DJ whoever you are. <laughs> You're the one for my sister, and I know that he'll continue to protect you and care for you for the rest of your life, and we all love you, and we welcome you to our family, so. Love you both. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming here. I'm the beautiful father of the bride. My name is Mike. I'm going to read this because I've got a memory of a goldfish right now. <laughs> kind of emotional. But uh, I was fighting back the tears during the ceremony. Um, on behalf of myself and the entire Zinn family, I would like to welcome the Gothard family, Alex's parents, Terry, Cindy, and brother Nathan into the family. Uh, before I say anything else, I would like to thank you all for being here. I know it means a lot to the bride and groom, and it means a lot to me and the Gothard family. I would especially like to acknowledge those who have traveled a long way to make this occasion so memorable. I would also like to thank everyone who helped out to the lead up to the wedding in whatever way, big and small. You all played your part and make this wedding memorable. I lost my place. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Terry and Cindy, for making the rehearsal dinner last night. It was a heck of a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> Uncle Trey, great job officiating the wedding ceremony. And little Ashlyn is a ring bearer. So beautiful. And the bridesmaid, you guys look absolutely stunning tonight. And the groomsmen, pretty sharp, I have to say, to myself. Beautiful. Well, now it's traditional at this point to tell some embarrassing stories about the bride. But I don't think I will. Because Erica, Erica's got more compromising stories to tell about me. So I want to pass on that. You're welcome. <laughs> Erica, you look beautiful in your bride's dress tonight. Beautiful. And I'm certain we'd all agree. As I look at this beautiful woman before me, I can't help but reflect on the girl she was and the woman she was, the girl she was and the woman she has become. Erica, I remember the day that you were born like it was yesterday. I think that the moment that I cut the cord and held you in my arms, you were a daddy's girl. I remember taking you to school every day from the first days of preschool all the way to the last day of high school. And I was honored to be a cheer dad when you participated in cheerleading. <laughs> and I enjoyed uh, sharing your passion for all things aviation. Uh, Eric and I would be happy just hanging out at the airport for hours watching planes taking off and landing. And when you decided that Embry-Riddle Aeronautical College was your choice for undergraduate school, I was so proud that you wanted a career in aviation. Um, now, I can attest to the many attributes that define Erica's character. She's fiercely loyal. She's totally dependable. She's fun-loving and friendly, all of which I'm certain will make her a perfect partner, Alex. I think you're a lucky man. Uh, Alex, for an additional bonus, Erica's quite low maintenance. <laughs> and another great attribute, she is easily pleased and doesn't coven after the most expensive things in life. And uh, Alex, I'm sure she will make you proud to call her your, your wife. So at this point, I think it's traditional to expand on the virtues and intelligence of the groom. And uh, I have copious notes here, but for some reason, Alex, I can't read your writing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me 
So Alex, I can remember the first time I met you. My daughter Erica informed me that she met this young man who was an incoming freshman in Embry-Riddle. And at this time, Erica was a sophomore. And I quickly asked her if it was a serious relationship. And she said, not only was it serious, but she was bringing you home for Thanksgiving. All I could say was, wow. Because uh, Erica never brought a boyfriend home before. And my next question to Erica was, being that Alex was only a freshman, doesn't this make you a cougar? <laughs> and Erica said, oh, wow, Dad. I'm only five months older than, Eric, <laughs> than Alex. <laughs> uh, well, my first impression of Alex was that he was a very well-mannered, good-looking, and respectful young man in ext with extremely short hair. <laughs> he was in the Reserve Officers Training Corps at the time at Embry-Riddle. And uh, at that time, Alex got to meet Erica's immediate family at our Thanksgiving dinner. And during the meal, I noticed Alex wasn't eating. He was just kind of short of uh, shoveling the food around the plate, and he couldn't eat. And I was thinking, oh my god, this young man's got an eating disorder. <laughs> but later, uh, Eric informed me that Alex was just quite nervous being the whole Zen family, and he couldn't eat. He had a nervous stomach. But later, I found out he got up in the middle of the night, probably around 3 o'clock, and raided the icebox for, for leftovers. So uh, I was going to talk about the Zen family. Uh, our family is very close-knit, and sure, our family tree has, a, has some nuts on it, and I won't say who. But I have to say, Alex fit right in. He fit right in with us from the moment we met him. And I'm glad to say that we didn't scare him away. And he's still here, and now he's part of the family. Um, at this time, I would like to say congratulations to you both. And thank you, Alex, for making my daughter so happy. And now I'd like to have everybody raise their glasses to Erica and Alex. And I thought of a couple of different toasts here. And I think I settled on this one. May you live as long as you like and have all you like for as long as you live. Bless you. God bless. Cheers. Hey. Hi everyone, my name is Terry Gothard. I'm the father of the groom. Uh, with my wife Cindy, we would like to propose the following toast to Erica and Alex. First, thank you everyone. It truly means the world to me uh, and all of the family that you're here, right? It took a lot for a lot of folks to be here and it truly warms our hearts. Thank you. The Zinn family, hmm. Good people, good people. Thank you for your friendship, your support, and we look forward to getting to know you better in the future. Just to comment here about the celebration tonight, a lot of people would ask me questions about, oh, well, how's this going or how's this going? I'm like, I don't know, because Erica and Alex are planning everything, I mean everything. They did all of this, and I think it's pretty spectacular. So, good job. Good job. All right. 1,541. Erica Mealy Zinn. That is a beautiful name, by the way. Dear Erica, welcome to the beautiful, crazy world of the Gothards. <laughs> and it is crazy, by the way. <laughs> From the first time I met you at the airport, you had the biggest, most infectious smile on your face. We love your sense of humor, adventure, and tenacity. A world traveler, you might find Erica spending the weekend in Amsterdam, 
just because. <laughs> An Embry-Riddle graduate with honors, no small accomplishment. Your love of board games, ice cream, Chipotle, and quirky Adam Sandler movies are other reasons we love you. Thank you for being you and for bringing love, joy, and happiness to Alex and her family. And I mean that. 1,541. Alexander Bryant Gothard. Dear Alex, did you write something? Oh. I'm just kidding. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. From the moment you entered the world, you have been on the go. You've tried any and all sports. You are a first degree black belt. You've been 2,000 feet under the ocean in a submarine. You've been 2,000 feet above the earth in a hang glider. Sub-zero camping trips, ice climbing, rafting, sometimes in, sometimes out of the raft. <laughs> Embry-Riddle graduate, international traveler, and now in service to our country, hoo -ah! Army 10th Mountain. The only thing bigger than your accomplishments is the size of your heart. We are so very proud of the man you have become and perhaps the greatest compliment that a parent can give a child. We look up to you for your selflessness and courage. You are truly an inspiration. 1,541. Erica and Alex, we wish you both a great life, but not a perfect life. For in those moments of imperfection, you will come to understand the true commitment you have made here today and the depth of your love for each other. A quote perhaps says it most eloquently. You know you're in love when you don't want to fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. From your first date on September 25th, 2015 until today, You both made 1,541 daily choices to choose each other above everything else. Continue to choose each other for the remaining days of your lives. To Erica and Alex, may today mark the first of many best days. We love you both. Cheers. I didn't have something prepared until earlier, but for those of you that don't know me, I am Uncle Rob. Um, I think I would like to start with, before the multiple partners, and I didn't even know you were a couple, to your I sit back with this pack of zigzags in this bag, Dr. Dre and whatnot. <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to say congratulations on your nuptials. I wish you the fairest winds and following seas in your life ahead. On another note, Alex, I was jealous about seeing you eat more biscuits than I could <laughs> as a young lad. But now, you've grown into a hungry snake-eating warrior. I must say that keep your sights as high, your drive, your love, and your faith as high as those static and free falls you'll soon endure you continually make your family and your country proud thank you for your service hua
Go Navy, beat Army. 31 7, Navy over Army. longest to get ready. <laughs> Who is the better cook? Ew, that was hesitant. <laughs> Who is grumpier in the morning? Don't look at him, don't look at him. Who has a bigger wardrobe? <laughs> Who would die first in a horror movie? <laughs> Who is the bigger baby when they are sick? Who mentioned marriage first? <laughs> right together? Who do you love the most? Oh. Wow, y'all give him a round of applause. Brother, you're on your own on that one. Come on, DJ. 
Take your time now. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Oh. Congratulations, sir. All right, my single brothers, where you at? Any single men in here? All right, fellas. No tackling. Oh wow, we need a do-over. All right, hold on, hold on. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. All right, fellas. Come on, DJ, play the music. Let me see your moves there, fellas. Come on. Let me see your moves. Come on, you gotta dance, you gotta do something. Oh, oh! He's super too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I am two for two. See the trophy. Two for two. At this time. <laughs> I know. My God, Becky, look at her bed. It is so big. She looks like one of those round guys, girlfriends. Who understands what's around the house. They only talk to her because she looks like a total prostitute.
lot. They kicked their nasty butt.